Oscar June Jeffers Jr. had an eye for speed. His wife Zelma had a knack for crossing the right bloodlines. Together they created an explosive, record-breaking racehorse. In 1954, they bred their Moco Burnett mare Merle L to the thoroughbred stallion Three Bars. The product was Mr. Bar None, a dark chestnut colt with a vivid white star and strip down his face that would become a familiar sight at the finish line. At first, they thought their experiment was going to be a disaster. June and Zelma's granddaughter, Delinda Jeffers, said the horse was downright lazy. But then they introduced him to a jockey named Tecumseh Stark. Starkey knew how to get the most from a horse, and Mr. Bar None broke his maiden in his first race. By year's end, he was the AQHA racing champion two-year-old colt. In 1958, he'd become champion three-year-old colt champion stallion, and world champion racing American quarter horse. Jockey Kenneth Chapman would ride him for all but one of his races. Retired at the end of his three-year-old season, Mr. Bar None would earn $72,000 and win 22 of his 36 starts, plus 10 seconds at a third, an amazing race record. In the final race of his career, he'd earn a daylight win at Los Alamitos against the stars of the day, including Vanetta D, Double Bid, Clabber's Win, Dividend, Go Man Go, and Clabber Bar. His foal started racing in 1962. That year, his gat would finish first, second, and third in the Oklahoma Futurity. Overall, his sons and daughters earned more than $1.1 million at the track. Three of his foals were racing champions, Bar Nun Doll, Mr. Juniper Bar, and Bayou Bar. He also became known as a broodmare sire, with Native Empress and Mighty Deck 3. Mr. Bar Nunn was euthanized in 1982 and is buried on the Jeffers family ranch near Wagner, Oklahoma. He was one of many successes for June and Zelma. Their skill and hard work produced not just a record setter, but a Hall of Famer.